Okay, so you have your compost test kit, and you're going to open it and take out the various parts, which include the manual, the color chart for the test, the test jar itself, which we're going to fill with sample, and the paddles, which are the indicators for the test. Here I am going to demonstrate how to do your own compost test using the Solvita kit. Okay, let's assume the compost has been taken in a proper manner. What you want to do if it's been bagged is to open it up and allow the accumulated carbon dioxide to air out. Normally it's best to screen a sample before performing the test in case there's large chunks in it. Okay, let's screen it. The ideal state of moisture for doing a Solvita test is the same as the optimal level for composting. Let's perform a test for ideal moisture level. This is called the squeeze test and it's performed by hand. It actually works very well to determine optimal moisture almost as well as a lab test. Place a wad of compost in your hand like this and squeeze it very, very hard trying to observe if any moisture comes out between your fingers. It should not run out between your fingers squeezing very hard, and it should be clumpy like this when you open your hand again. This is a perfect level of moisture for the compost test. Now let's consider a sample that's either too wet or too dry. Okay, let's take a look at this sample here, which is a compost that was rained on. Now let's look at a sample that's too dry. This compost, I can't even squeeze it into a clump and it just falls through my fingers. Definitely too dry for a Solvita test. If the sample is so dry that it crumbles, you're going to have to add water to it before performing the test. Adding water to a sample is a simple matter of using a spray bottle to moisten the material until it's at the indicated optimal moisture. Now that we have ready screen compost of optimal moisture level, let's perform the Solvita test. 